Hi there, my name is Rob. This is a walkthrough of the Hello Android tutorial. I have pulled up here Eclipse, and in a previous video I showed how to set up Eclipse in Windows 7. You should have under Window, Android SDK Manager, AVD Manager, for the AVDs. Set up the, another new one. this point, I'll show you the Hello World tutorial. If you Google Hello World Android, it's the first result. And first you have to install a platform that was under the SDK manager. You saw all the parts that were installed. I believe it's 4.0.3. And create an AVD, which we just did. So we should be all set now to create a new Android project. Project. Android project. Project name. Go back to the tutorial. Here, project name is Hello Android. And a lot of this is just copy-paste. Okay. Got that set. And package name. Package name there. Okay, now create activity it's going to be hello android activity but we actually want to create activity hello android so you'd copy paste this over but I want to forget this on purpose uh, just to show you error debugging let's say finish for that and it should pull up over here hello android project SRC is where we're going to find the Java files and the resources which we'll get to a little bit later are here. Okay, so if I double click it's pulled up on the right and I'm going to go back to the Hello World tutorial. All right, I'm here just did open the hello android.java file under hello android src com.example.hello android. Does it look like that? Yes, it does. So now I'm going to copy paste the revised code. run application. Ah, before I do that, I should probably check run configurations. Target. Okay, I do have one selected here. Let's run it. Ah, uh, yes. And we have an error. So public class hello android, we can click on the little x. Rename compilation unit to hello android java or rename type to hello android activity. Let's rename the type. This is an easier fix. And this makes the change back to the original way it said in the tutorial. Let's try running it again was configured properly, save the changes.
and now the emulator will be launched. At this point, it's going to take a while to load, and I could pause the video, but I instead really want to show you how long it takes to load up. Um, I've read in message boards before that people get very frustrated by this. It seems like it's hung up, but it actually just takes a while. So I'm going to just let this run, and when it's ready, I'll switch back to the, well, once it runs, I'll switch back to the Eclipse screen. So you can fast forward to find exactly where the Hello World pops up. So again, you may fast forward at this point. I just wanted to keep this going because I wanted to show exactly how long this takes. check in at this point it might be ready it just needs to be unlocked oh. let's wait there's hello Android so now what I'd like to do is continue with the tutorial and move over to an XML layout Essentially what this means is that we're going to take some of the text out of the Java code itself, which is considered this poor form, the Hello Android here, and instead we're going to be putting it under Resources, Layout, Main.xml. I'm going to replace what's here with 
what I copied from the tutorial. Ah, but that was actually the wrong thing. It's actually this one, uh, which appears to be the same, actually. Okay, let me try. Yes, it was the same. Now I need to modify the strings.xml file, which is under values. And again, click the XML tab. And let me paste that in. And I need to modify the Hello Android class in the hello android java file. And essentially what this does is remove the visual user interface out of the java code and put it in xml files. I'm going to go back to the original java file and replace it. Java acts as the brain behind the code. XML acts as what the user sees. Again, I need to rename that. And I believe that's it. Because we're not going to get into our class. Now when we run this again, I have to save. And hopefully it will just run on the emulator that we have pulled up already. and it worked. So this way you don't have to keep reloading the emulator over and over again. That is heavy on resources and overall I disconnected the wireless connection so that I'd have more resources to run both Eclipse and the Cam Studio recording. So that's pretty much it and I hope you enjoy this video tutorial. Thank you for watching.